Ezekiel Dasho, and I'm going to draw this hammerhead shark. And we'll just jump right into it. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, then this will probably be kind of old hat. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, and this is just sort of what feels right. I don't know how to describe it much beyond that, but this, um, after you've done a lot of drawings, you'll kind of, I think, have a sense of where you want to start on any given picture. And that, I don't know if that's incredibly helpful for beginners out there, but um, I think part of my calculus on that decision for this picture in particular is the, uh, the rightmost point of the drawing is this, this eye area. And um, I know that that's a boundary and that's, uh, that's part of it. So let's build, keep going from there. And I'm going to, rather than just go for like these long, clean, smooth lines, I'm going to sort of use these straight, straight lines. And then looking up here, the eye goes up, the fin comes from about here, so that that is where I want the fin to begin, something like that. And um, I'm going for accuracy, but I'm also kind of just want to keep this quick. So I've got the fin shape here, and you could break that down into smaller shapes if you want. Like you could say, okay, well, here's a triangle here, and here's a triangle here, you know, and it, if that helps you, I would definitely say go for it. Um, we'll just keep going on the back since we're already there. I'm using a 4B pencil, and... I uh, have it in this pencil holder grip thing, and that uh, is so that I can get my hand as far away from the point of the pencil as possible. And that's just something that I like to do sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but I like to do it as much as I can because it helps me restrain myself and not push down very hard and it also helps me with uh, long, long clean lines and curves and so line quality is another reason and then I, I guess a third reason would be that it helps with shading um, and getting a nice even layer of graphite applied to the page and um, I can, sh well, you know, we'll get into that when we start shading a little bit. But so looking down this fin, this one's a little bit like something like that. And then something like that. And I am no, probably said this before, but I'll probably say it again too. I am no, you know, animal anatomy expert uh, so I'll pro I'm just using my layman's <laughs> layman's terms for pretty much everything I see here and uh, hopefully that's not you know aggravating anybody who really knows their biology <laughs> I'm just a simple guy <laughs> uh, okay so we got this fin here and um, see the start of it on this side about here 
and on this side kind of up uh, right above that eye area and then the uh, pectorals the under side the belly is just just visible that curve is just barely visible there and then coming up here for the mouth area and I don't know what it is about hammerhead sharks but I've I've always just thought they were cool even when I was a little kid I, they're just so interesting looking and just so aquatic and they don't really I mean maybe like there are some land animals that kind of have similar characteristics but they're just so oceanic and non-terrestrial and uh, well at least not uh they just don't look like they're from terra firma and they're kind of not <laughs> um so yeah so that kind of blocks it in now let's uh look at some of the other features like the the um gills i guess one two three four and five they kind of i'm just lightly sketching those in and we could detail them a little bit more later um so what feels what feels right next um let's look at some of these shadow regions um and then choose the some of the dark ones and say so like right here is just jumping out at me this is pretty dark there's a shape here and it goes about like that and then that would be just darker um, then there's this relatively dark region here you can just pick out the shapes of these darker shadows and start laying them in there and uh, come back and so this isn't a shadow but it's this feature here and it's pretty much the darkest feature on the, the picture and that means that this would be darker too like inside the mouth you can even see some teeth in there now that I'm looking more closely at it you know I'm, I'm not going to get into those too much because they're pretty hard to see and uh when when things are in the darkness um in a drawing it's okay to lose some of that detail it'll look more like darkness to your mind if you can't really make out the details um since details are really most noticeable when they're when we can see them and they're well lit and it's kind of redundant but so like this cool swooping shape here would be pretty dark and let's just give the entire body of the shark some value until we get up here to the areas that are well lit and we can smooth out some of these some of these rough spots in a little bit but I'm seeing a pretty dramatic cast shadow from the fin and the fin itself is pretty dark too so um, let's just go about shading that in So like that would be one hit there and then I could go in for another right there it's pretty dark near the top actually so maybe finally coming down with a shadow like that and then um, to 
keep keep these areas contiguous and joined without looking like there's disrupt this disjointed look you know going in and kind of using some of these lighter squiggles to just get the values a little more evenly applied. So, if you like drawing sharks, and who doesn't, <laughs> um, check out my other shark drawing video I made a little while back. It's, uh, it's about drawing a great white shark, and the pose is pretty similar to this one, a little different, uh -huh. but, you know, quite, quite an enjoyable picture to make and didn't take very long so hopefully it's easy for you know artists of any level to just go, drop in follow that video it's not you know there are no time lapses or edits or anything you can just draw with me the whole time and it's like half an hour long and um hopefully you know you can go in with a fresh sheet of paper and come out with a drawing that you, that's all your own and I mean, these are on the Wiki Commons. These these pictures, and I think the links are in pretty much all my videos. Um, so when you draw something from there, I mean, it's really yours. You can sign it, and you can say it's yours. And you know, I'm never going to come after and say, "Hey, you drew that on my YouTube video, and then you made a million dollars from selling it." You know, if you do that, more power to you. Um, so you know, my my goal is to just help people, uh, help artists get, go from that point where they have a blank sheet of paper to getting something that they can be really proud of and, um, just anything to help, uh, encourage people to draw. It's, if you're drawing with me now, you already you already know it's a wonderful activity. You you know, and there are benefits that are hard to describe in words. Um, it's like trying ask somebody, you know, what's the benefit of uh, meditation, or what's the benefit of playing music or dance or something like that. It's not always the easiest thing to just put a. put a um, fine point on. Let's go in here and get some of these shadows darkened up back here. Got this pretty large region that needs a pretty dark shadow. And uh, I'll be like something like that. Uh, but my, back to my former point, if you were um, you know, if you're here, you probably already know why drawing's great. Um, so, just encouraging that in other people, it's it's a good thing. And other people are generally encouraged when they see when they see an artist create something that they think is interesting or compelling you know they part of them thinks that's really compelling but even people who say oh i'm not an artist or whatever there's so many people who just say that you know part of them was a little kid once and drew and you know is creative and they even though they say oh i'm not an artist so you know everyone is and they just don't know it or they've forgotten it and so sometimes you can inspire people and uh, that's really where it's at because 
you know, if more people spent their time drawing and less time, you know, doing other things that weren't as creative, I think the world would be a happier, <laughs> happier place and there would definitely be more, more art in the world. And everybody's got that creative potential. Some people just have let the maybe let the fire go out a little bit or so. So if you are following my video and you make an amazing picture with one of the one of the uh, video tutorials that I've done, then awesome. That's perfect. You sign your own name on it. Say it's yours. <laughs> Tell people that you watched a YouTube video of mine or not. I don't care. <laughs> if they see your skills budding as an artist, they're more likely to support you and to promote the arts. And that's that's a win as well. So, I mean, of course I always... You know, who doesn't like likes and attention and hits and things like that. But the main thing is just fostering that artist and everyone. And... This sketch is going a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but let's start coming back and talking about the drawing here. I've got this sharper line for this shadow that's cast by the fin. Maybe a little bit of darker right here just to show that contrast between the light area and the dark area. And then this quite dark crease or whatever that's under the fin there. Maybe made that a little bit too pronounced, but let's see. I guess we have this fin shaped a little differently than I had it here. So, like, you know, I've been drawing so lightly and not pressing down very hard at all this whole time. So if I want to make little adjustments and things, I, I can do that. Um, it's just so, so light that... Uh, You know, that that's, like here I'm pressing in a little harder. And there, it's much, you know, less opportunity or options for adjusting it now that I've darkened that up. But I'm getting close to the end of the picture. And let's uh, get some of the just color variations in here. And let's get the shape of this shadowed area right. So we see this, the border here, and then this rounded shape here. And that might give us some of this We can have some of these like longer lines and then you see the shadows kind of coming from those areas and it, those might be you know ripples in the muscles and stuff like that and let's darken this up and through here and then Okay, so got this. It's an interesting shape to shade. There's a lot going on, and uh, you could you could definitely give it some time and attention and 
get it all smoothed out, but let's just keep moving. Get this light area, so I'm gonna go with the plane of the the skin that I see. And really just not considering that a shadow area so much as but that's more of a light area. And so it's getting a much different level of pressure. Like this is I'm barely dragging the pencil here. And so maybe seeing some darker here. And let's get this the tail just in general darker. So I'm going to go over the whole thing. Well, not this part here, but the whole thing. And then we'll press down kind of hard there because it's such a dark, a dark line. But I want it to be a little blurry back there so that it feels like it's fading into the into the receding into the ocean back there. And let's continue here with a little bit more. using these little circles and squiggles and stuff to just kind of get the get the forms a little more pronounced I don't know what this area is. It looks a little bit like the shark had some battle damage or something. Maybe he's hammering some stuff with his head. But it's pretty dark right there. Make sure I don't leave any of these areas back here white because Maybe this one little area by the fin. But if I, I need to darken those up a little bit so that they're not uh, looking flat or sticking out the wrong way. All right. So I think it's looking pretty good. And... You know, I could come come in with an eraser and kind of clean up some of these little stray stray edges and stuff like that. Like right here's one. Um, I'm not going to do that on the video. I'm, that's something that you know I might do before I post a picture of it that goes in front of the video or something. But it's not something that you need to see. To it's nothing magical. Um, Nothing magical or hard to understand happening there. It's just quick little touch-up stuff. Um, you know, maybe, maybe here. A little darker there. And uh, let's see. Maybe just a little variation here and there to kind of make it interesting. Maybe bringing this down a little bit so it's clear. So 
Or just that final final phase of kind of darkening things up and and you can see this the benefit of this is like you can draw like this instead of you know being up here but um you know holding it like this and just just kind of uh So for something like this, like there's, say there's this like striation line kind of, I don't know if that's a word, but it feels like a word. Um, there, maybe that, that's starting to look a little better. Um, you know, maybe... Just a little bit of that. Just kind of get the. What the tonal. Tonal differences there. For the the fin, I want to join these shadows together. The shadow that's here and the shadow that's here, they're all one shadow in a way. So, okay, so that's looking all right. Um, hey, thanks for being with me. Um, I hope this was as fun for you as it was for me. And I hope to see you on the next video and until next time this is uh this is Ezekiel Dashow